Ah, uh, good morning. Boy, you know, the news just gets better and better every day. I don't know what people did with their intelligence. They must have stuck it in their pocket or put it on a shelf somewhere for safekeeping or whatever. Because I sit here and I, <laughs> some of the things that come out, I just can't hardly believe. Uh, now there was a thing on the uh, news I was reading a while ago about uh, how the Democrats are trying to keep people off the ballot. Uh, you know, this whole thing with Trump and everything. <clears throat> and then I read another one where it said that that swift gal and that uh, <laughs> ex uh, oh I can't remember her name now she's that famous woman that was married to that president that was out there with uh, Monica Lewinsky and all that stuff <laughs> Hillary Clinton now they both saying if Trump gets elected, they're going to leave the United States. Well, you know what? <clears throat> that might be a good idea. I don't really care who gets elected. I don't care if it's that Newsom fellow or anything. It doesn't matter to me. I'll vote for who I want to vote for. Even though I can't vote in the primary to have an individual put on the ballot as a candidate for president because I'm not a Democrat and I'm not a Republican. No, you see, I'm a patriotic citizen of the state of Arizona, a member of the Union of States that was set up by the Constitution of the United States of America. See, I got this problem. There's a whole lot of people like me, too. And it's just sad. We can't say who's supposed to be on the ballot, who we want on the ballot. No, so more than a third of people don't get to decide what two names are going to be on that blue ballot and on that red ballot. Uh, yeah, you know, it's... Why, that's democracy right down the line. 24, 25, 26, 27 percent of the legal citizens that can vote in the United States will say who will be the president of the United States. The other 75 percent of us don't get to say. That's democracy. Wonderful. Well. No wonder them guys set up a republic. Of course, the republic died at the end of the Civil War. Now, old Abraham Lincoln, he had a mean set up. He was going to forgive and forget, and they were going to rebuild and everything after the Civil War. There wouldn't have been none of this. Uh, uh, all them guys weren't citizens. They couldn't vote and all this other kind of crap for a while. Now, when he was killed, uh, assassinated, probably by some of them northerners, Johnson was put in as president. Well, Johnson wanted to follow Lincoln's plan for putting the country back together. Well, you know, them elitists out of the north, no, they didn't want that. They wanted all this money and everything, all these, this cotton and all this tobacco and everything brought up to the north so they could run it through their machines and manufacture everything and do all that and charge outrageous prices. Well, you know, them guys, they finally got that loaf of bread so it cost $4.50 or so in the grocery store. And that stuff that they're selling for three dollars and fifty cents it ain't even bread it's mostly air and the fruit they sell and the vegetables are so modified somehow so that they'll keep 
in cold storage forever so that they can sell them when they want to. Uh, and they're going to take away all the gasoline. Well, that's the same guys. Gee, you know, things haven't changed over the last. Uh, how much would that be? 180 something years? I don't know. Something close like that. 1865 would be 35, the 1900s would be 135, and 23 would be <laughs> 150-something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm an old guy. I can't figure no more. Well, I just don't got no good sound. Well, must be some of that their senility or maybe it's some of that Alzheimer's or something. But I can't figure and you know that might be the problem. Well, I can't figure out how people can be so dumb nowadays. They believe all that stuff that them politicians and lawyers and elected officials are telling them. They're buying all that stuff that's coming out of that general secretary of the United Nations that's saying, I see somewhere today that it's He's saying, we're going to get rid of all gasoline, all oil, all coal, everything. Yeah, okay. Good luck with that. You're already starving the people to death. Uh, you know, if you go back there and you believe in that creator, that God like I do, everything was put on this earth for man to share. Not for some people to hoard, but for man to share. Now, if we were sharing, there wouldn't be any hungry in Africa. There wouldn't be any hungry anywhere in the world. There wouldn't be one in eight or five, whatever the figure is, for kids that go to school hungry every day. There wouldn't be none of that. We'd be sharing, you know. Uh, this stuff talking about that uh, cost, uh, that uh, inflation. Well, inflation's way down, but the prices haven't dropped. Oh, the gas is going down two cents here, two cents there, one cent here. <laughs> oh, wow! Whoop de do! You know, you got people starving. You got people that are cold. You got people suffering because the greedy are hoarding because they want to make big bucks. How to check it out. You know back there that uh, Nixon, he unpegged the dollar from gold so it could float so that the guys could be putting it out here they could gamble with it. They could gamble against the British pound. They could gamble against the rupee. They could gamble against the yen and whatever else there's out there. Well, a lot of good that did the people, we the people of the United States of America, didn't do a dang thing for us. Our money is nothing. It's worthless. It's monopoly money. They can say it's worth whatever they want to say it's worth. And that don't work. Because they're just enslaving humanity for the privileges of the elite. Like, uh, oh, perhaps it's that swift gal in the Hillary that are going to leave the United States. Well, drop your citizenship in the can as you go out. Take your money with you, because people will want that other places, and shut the door as you go. See, that's the way it ought to be. If you don't like what we got, don't be here. We got all kinds of immigrants coming in. Let's see if they want liberty, if they want to fend for themselves, have opportunity, or if they want to be given everything and enslaved by the mighty emperor and his cronies. Have a good day. May God bless y'all. I feel good today.
I got that on my soul. See you again.